Robbie, uh, coming home uh, for the first time in a few weeks now, get to play on Friday night here at Homewood Field. Just talk about the team uh, heading into this game right now. Oh, we're real focused. Um, took the bye week off, got uh, got some guys healthy, and uh, you know came out head on a uh, head on all cylinders against Dickinson. We're really excited to play, be back here and uh, play again on Homewood Field. Talk a little bit about coming home to play on a Friday night. Always a, a, a nice atmosphere. The kids really seem to get up to play at home on Friday evening. Our players love it. Our fans love it. So it should be a great atmosphere here. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better opponent right now with, with Gettysburg and Hopkins being two of the top teams in the conference. I think when you look at it statistically, it's almost neck and neck all the way through in every major category. So it should be a great game. One of the things that started to happen the last couple of games is um, the defense is starting to force turnovers more. Um, and that's really turning into to some quick scores or some easy scores for the offense. Can you just talk a little bit about um, you know the defense's thoughts, you know, with with the emotion that that brings to the game? It's huge. We have a turnover circuit every week. We're always coaches always harping us to get the ball out. First guy wrap up, second guy strip it, and uh, we're just carrying that over into the game. Our DBs and everyone's making making plays on the balls. Our D lines force some bad throws. So it's all we're all starting to click on full cylinders now. We've had a couple games here where we've gone over the 500-yard mark, but different ways of doing it. You know, talk about the, uh, you know, the progress of our offense, uh, which which had some turnover this year after after last night. We really feel good about the development of our young guys coming in this year. Uh, we, we've shown that we can move the ball both on the ground and in the air, and and really uh, not at will necessarily, but when, when people take something away, we've got something else to go to. So it's it's com it's comforting when you think you've got some answers going into a game. Uh, for any plan that a defense might give us. So we we're pleased up to this point. There's still a lot of challenges ahead as we face some real good teams in the next few weeks. Now just talk about the passing game. I also talked to Coach Margraff about the emergence of uh, Bob DeRazio and Evan Adamo. That only makes a Kremens and a Wadica better and, and gives you you know just multiple options in the pass game. What is that like to, to look out there and, and there's guys like that that you can throw the ball to? It's huge because um, you know they've been they've been uh, shading a lot of coverages towards uh, Dan this year and towards Kremen. So them, uh, them with Bob with the vertical threat um, coming out and then Evan has really been making some plays underneath, um, has really just opened up everything for the whole offense. Going into what is essentially a first place showdown on Friday night, you know, two or three things that, that Hopkins needs to go right or that you know, are, are keys for us in, in the game. As I mentioned, I think, uh, I think both teams will feature some real outstanding skilled players. I think up front will be a battle on both sides. Um, and obviously, not to be cliche, but the turnovers will, will be a, a telling point. We haven't done a great job of, of securing the ball. We've been getting better each week, and uh, that'll be a, a main focus for us this, this weekend.